All right, it's Violet Vic here. Who's up for a game of apples, apples? If you ain't got apples, apples, go out and buy apples, apples. Okay, here's how we're going to play apples, apples, right? I'm going to pick out, you're going to pick out five red cards like this. They have words on them, phrases and people and whatnot. See? Let's take a look there, right? Now, these green cards, they're going to be the words of the day. Today's word is kissable. You know, someone you, you just want to kiss, right? So you're going to take those red cards and you need to pick one out that best describes someone who is kissable. And if I like your answers, you're going to win this envelope. Now, uh, you're going to have to stitch this, duet this, or react to this, showing me your card so I know you... We had six weeks to go till inauguration day. It is time for another episode of Dump Trump. Okay, things are going our way. Trump is losing a lot of legal battles. And come Monday, it looks like all our electors will be voting for Joe Biden. We're going to keep an eye on that. Now, uh, right now, there is one thing I think we need to do, and we need to pray for Rudy Giuliani, who has COVID. Now, if you're wondering why we should pray for someone on the other side, one, it is a nice thing to do. But two, most importantly, Trump needs Giuliani as his lawyer right now. Given how things have gone with Giuliani being his lawyer, trying to keep him in the White House through legal means, we need Giuliani as Trump's lawyer. So let's pray that Giuliani recovers from COVID and go back to being Trump's lawyer, fighting the legal battles to keep Trump in the White House. And there's Giuliani doing that. Let's pray for Giuliani. Get better, Rudy. Hey, I see a lot of you out there are in favor of mandatory vaccinations against this coronavirus. Can't say I agree with you. Hey, let's just talk about this for a second. Let's just wrap here. Why should those of us who want to get the vaccine have to compete with those who don't to get it. I mean, let's face it, when these vaccinations go public, there are going to be huge lines at the hospitals, at the clinics, at the pharmacies to get them, right? You know what make those shot lines go shorter? If the people who don't want to be in them weren't in them, if we weren't forcing them in, it'd go a lot faster for those of us who want to get those vaccinations. What I'm saying here, people, is let's just think of ourselves first before we worry about those fucking naysayers. And once all of us who wanted to get the vaccine have gotten it, then we'll take a look at them and see what's left of them and if we even have to force it on them. Okay, today's uh, Apples to Apples card is ill-conceived. Something that's poorly planned or thought out. All right, if I pick your red card, you'll win this a uh, copy of Tower Heist. Stitch, duet, or react this to play. Stay here with this uh, random thought of the day. You know how CNN has its uh, coronavirus totals that they have on the screen every day? You know, it's uh, this many cases worldwide, this many people died worldwide, and the same with the United States, right? So here's what I'm thinking. Now that we have vaccines and people are being vaccinated, why don't we have a total for that? You know, total vaccines worldwide, this many people have gotten it. You know, so, a little, so we can be a little more optimistic about our situation. Yeah, this many people have gotten the virus, this many cases, this many people have died. But hey, look, look how uh, the vaccines is going up. This many more people have gotten it, this many more people are going to be A-OK. -okay. You know, just a random thought. And it's not just a matter of getting the vaccine as quickly as possible. Let's just say there's only so much vaccine to go around, a fine amount of vaccines. Why should those of us who want to get the vaccine have to compete with those who don't? If there's a lottery, why should it be based off of something random like birthdays or social security numbers when 20 or 30 percent of those potential lottery winners won't show up for the vaccines? Instead, what you do is you have a lottery where the people who want to get the vaccine can get tickets, and then those tickets alone are determined who gets the vaccines first. Okay, today's word is scratchy. Something that is ishy. Rashy. What you want to scratch? Okay, by picking your red card. You will win this portrait of Renaissance guy. Remember, you need to stitch, do it, or react to this so I can see your red card. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to weigh in on something. Uh, recently, this Israeli uh, security chief said that aliens exist and that they're part of a galactic federation and that the governments know about it, but they're keeping it secret. 
So a lot of TikToks have said, no, this means nothing, this guy is nuts. Uh, aliens don't exist because the governments are terrible at keeping secrets. Therefore, this guy can't be telling the truth, except that's based on two big fa fallacies. One, this guy is spilling the secret. That would prove your point and our point. And two, how do you know the government is terrible at keeping secrets? Yes, they've had a lot of their secrets revealed, but those are only the secrets we know about. What about the secrets that they've kept secret? We don't know about them because they have been kept secret. You know, what is the actual ratio between secrets that have been kept secret and secrets that haven't been kept secret? We don't know. That's secret. 